but uh, Nick Padmore bustling along in the BMW, the UFO BMW. Fowler and Scarborough side by side into St Mary's with the Capris. Skid Scarborough trying to come around the outside of the yellow car, the track marshal car, but uh, Fowler claims the place. Christopher away again, so nothing lost as far as he's concerned except 15 minutes of frustration, but he's now easing away already. The BMW of Nick Padmore there pushing hard as well. Round they go. Well, Nick Swift's up ahead of Graham Bryant in the Camaro, but he's got a big gap to catch this little gaggle of cars in front of him. In fact, it becomes a large gaggle of cars. Change of uh, uh, the three Capris here running really hard now as Rick Wood has got so much grunt in that Chitang car. He's past the Dolomite and Scarborough gets really square and he catches it. Doesn't quite touch the back bumper of Mark Fowler, but uh, it's Fowler who has that advantage Christopher is still at the road in the uh, escort, but it's the Capris. They won't all go through the chicane this way, will they? They do just. And uh, Rick Wood back on the power of the Chitang car. He comes up the outside now, and he's got the grunt to come through. Um, engine builder Rick Wood, plenty of grunt in that Chitang car, and uh, he comes through in second place. So it's Christopher who leads, and uh, Rick Wood is in second, the blue Jatan Capri, third is Scarborough, fourth is Fowler, then it's James Wood in the black Dolomite Sprint. Behind him is Nick Padmore in the UFO B uh, BMW, and behind him, the rover of Bill Shepard. Fowler, Fowler looking threatening as well, but this battle between Scarborough's these two Capri's... Scarborough's come past well. Wood into, uh, into St Mary's, absolutely superb. Again, Mark Fowler gets really sideways. That's going to cost him momentum. But uh, Christopher is uh, escaping, isn't it? Could this be uh, yes. two race wins for the escorts? It may well be. It's looking good. Well, Padmore is uh, up past Mark Fowler now.